These are all the tools you will need to install. At this stage of installing the column cladding, you need to insert a half inch block below the ladder, as seen here. Then it raises it a half an inch off the finish. Be sure to measure either side to make sure it is evenly installed on the column. Put one screw at the base and level, and then followed by screwing two screws for every horizontal bar. Use a square to install the other side, as seen. Fasten bottom and level out the right side. Now that you've installed the verticals, now you're going to cut the base trim that has no hem on the end. This is the base trim. You will notch it by measuring the side panels. When laying out your trim cut, add an inch to bend around at the end. This is your door size, there to there. In this case, it's 12 inches. And then you measure for the side panel, make another mark down for the side panel, add another door, and then another side panel, and the end is down here. When measuring the side panel, measure from the inside lip to the inside lip when laying out your trim. In some cases, you may need to trim the base trim around the column if it hits when you're trying to put it on. Measure either side to be equal and space out the trim properly for installing the side panel. Use an inch and a half block to offset the side panel up from the base, whatever you're laying on. Be sure to peel off the protective film on the base trim before installation. Place the side panel on. Now measure the panel spacing from column to edge. Make sure both sides are equal and then place a screw in the bottom corner and level the other side. Set the bottom screw in the bottom left corner on one side. Take the block out on the other side Place the level on it. Make sure you are level perfectly. And then place the screw in the top right corner. Use one block in the center on the opposite side, or any other machine you have, shim it up the same as the opposite, how you set the first one. One block in the center might be easier for squaring off the panel, as seen in the next step. You need to make sure the panel is square in this direction top and bottom, along with the same height. Be sure to check one side. Fasten all three locations on this side. 
if full height panel, fasten all open holes on the ladder. And then make sure it's square before moving to the next side. Check that this side is square, same as the other side, before installing. Then proceed with putting all the fasteners in the vertical ladder. Be sure to peel back the top edge of all the side panels to prep for the next side panel to go above. So when prepping the next side panel, measure to the ceiling where the actual deck pan is on the gas station canopy. Take a measurement down to the top of the side panel, as seen here, and cut your panel down accordingly, minus half an inch. Place the side panel above the other side panel. Make sure the wrap is taken up on both sides so that you don't have wrap left in between. Proceed by fastening all the open holes all the way up to the top, both sides, making sure that they stay in line with each other. Measure the out to out from edge to edge and follow by making the trim. Take the top trim that looks like this with the hemmed edge on the back and notch out the corners as seen in here, similar to the bottom trim, all the way around with the one inch leg returning back. Slide the piece in the open hem, like so. Peel back the top of both side panels. Place trim around the top panel, as seen here. One screw, zip screw in the top right corner, one in the left corner. Install screws like so. Peel off the blue wrap and proceed by placing the door inside and sliding it up in. <laughs> Be sure to cut the opposite end as seen here. You're cutting the end with nothing on. As you can see, it's open. Be sure to cut the top here. When measuring, you want to measure from here, as seen before for the side panels. You're gonna cut all top doors, the inside panels to the same height. In my case, 44 and a half with the... In this case, 44 and a half. Be sure to cut all panels with the plastic on to avoid any scratching on the face of the panel. When installing the pan, you slide it up in the top. Be sure to line up with the top panel. As seen. Before installing the base panel, you want to be sure to push this all the way to the concrete or any type of floor that you're installing it on and zip screw either side on both sides just to prevent it from coming up. After you finish the screws on the bottom, proceed by following the next steps on the other side of the column. Start by peeling off the face skin and sliding it up into the top channel. Screw both locations, like the other side, and slide the other panel up in behind. When screwing these in, make sure to keep your screws as close to the outside edge as possible. Remember to fasten this bottom trim down before putting the bottom panel on. 